glad you're here. I was just about to call you. Sir. All right, look, Doc, what's going on here? I've had three more deaths this afternoon alone. You seem to be the only person that knows what's going on around here. I need some answers, and I need them now. After we parted ways earlier today, I came back here to study the bees' behavior. And as you saw earlier today, the bees always seem to be in some constant state of agitation, much like the acting killer bee. That's a bit of an understatement. Well, when a normal bee stings someone, the stinger detaches and the bee dies. This bee stinger did not come off. Um... Now look at that, this is a full scale blow up of the first bee we found. You see here, the venom sacs? I'm sorry, don't all bees have venom sacs? In their stingers, but this species venom is, is in their abdomen. So? Well, so, so look here, note the slight difference in the sac color. Well, yes, but what does it mean? The sacs contain two separate enzymes. One, a deadly poison, the other an enzyme that eats muscle tissues. So is that why the bodies look so decayed? Precisely, Bob. Mother of God. Gets worse. The reproductive system of the bees seems to have no limit. So they never stop having... doing it? Jane, that's no way for a lady to speak. No, Bob, she's right. It, look here at the simulation. If my calculations are correct, the bees will continue to multiply out of control until end game. We need to contact the government. They're like the FBI, the president, maybe even the National Guard. You can call them, Bob, but I guarantee it's going to be too late. Why do you say that? My simulation only lasts for two weeks. Two weeks? That's all the time we have? Hardly. In order to effectively stop them... We needed to have acted yesterday, when the hive was still young. So what do we do? We need to pray for a miracle. No, what we need to do is declare a state of emergency. We need to contact people and tell them to lock their doors and to batten down their windows. Doc, I need you to stay here. You have to figure out some way to stop this menace. Jane, stay with the doc. Good evening, Professor Blake. Actually, it's Officer Roberts. What can I do for you? Looking for Professor Blake. I'm Professor Blake. I'm Special Agent Creevy. I'm here with the government. We've been tracking this threat for some time. Well, it's about time you boys showed up. What branch of the government are you with? That's classified. Moving along. What can you tell us about the insect threat? Not much, I'm afraid. Um, they seem extremely aggressive and very fatal. Combined with an extraordinarily fast reproductive rate, this could mean the end of the American way of life. I want to thank you for your fine work, Professor Blake. Currently, we are mobilizing a strike force to gas the bees and rid, bees and rid of them of this threat. <laughs> That's a laugh. I. I've tried many insecticides on the bees to no avail. What are you guys going to do? Go and douse the state in Agent Orange? That's classified. Wait, what do you mean that's classified? If, if everything's classified but you can't tell us anything, then what exactly are you doing here? As a courtesy, really. Wanted to come by and thank you for your good work and tell you to take a step back and let us do our job. Now wait. Now wait just a minute. You can't come in here and tell, shut us out. Yes, we can and we are. I would appreciate your cooperation by staying away. Yeah, well, you can take your cooperation and sit on it, sir. Calm down, Bob. I'll, I'll handle this. I wish you the best of luck, Agent Grevy. Thank you, Professor Blake. You've been most helpful. Why that little... Look, we can't just let him get away with- Just calm down, Bob. Go get your radio and turn it to channel 99.9. .9. But that's the government emergency channel. Exactly. 